I was very unsure of what type of pharmacist I want to be. I really didn't know all the different paths that a pharmacist could take. I thought it was kind of just either community pharmacy or hospital pharmacy were the two ways to go. However, in the zero to six program, in that first year, they teach you a lot about all the different opportunities you have, which I really loved and got me really excited for my future profession. So one of the um, little places that I've kind of found myself is in ambulatory care, which Northern does a great job of exposing you to those kind of experiences because we do have the HealthWise Pharmacy and we have the bus where you can go out and help the people of the community. So that's definitely a little a niche in pharmacy that I didn't realize that I would be interested in, but Northern has taught me so much more about. Um, this summer I'll have the experience to and the opportunity to go and uh, work in an institutional setting so I'll be in the hospitals um, kind of working in that pharmacy setting so I'm really excited for that just to see um, what that's going to look like especially because my mom has some experience in a hospital setting so we might even be working at the same time this summer which would be really cool um, so yeah I'm very excited for that but I'm, I'm really hoping on actually within the next few weeks to um, kind of get a immunization certified so I can go ahead and help with the, um, the COVID-19 immunizations and those vaccines to make sure that I can play a, a valiant role in that continuing on. So I'm really excited to learn more about that this coming up semester. As it really showed me all the different possibilities I can do with pharmacy and it's also allowed me to see like different perspectives with, within pharmacy. I come from a really medical heavy family so I'm always like western medicine, western medicine but being able to go to Peru I was able to see oh wow there's like other options and other alternatives for people to heal some of the conditions that we all treat with western medicine. So it's been super cool to be able to expand my knowledge base and being able to grow as a student pharmacist. Having professors that do so many different things Things has really given me that option to kind of talk to them about what they do, how they do it, how they got there. I know I reached out to Dr. Leonard about becoming an ID pharmacist, an infectious disease pharmacist, and he sent me this whole email and he talked me through what he did to get to where he was now. And honestly, that's been very key to my decision to go into residency and strive to be an infectious disease pharmacist, but I feel like I wouldn't have been able to get there if I hadn't talked to them about it, seen what they do, how they got there, um, and what those actually entailed.